In this video, we'll be taking a look at two college football games happening on December 30th, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two college football Football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Ole Miss vs. Penn State Bowl season is gradually reaching its conclusion, ushering in the crescendo of the postseason's most thrilling matchups. Among these, the Peach Bowl stands out as the stage for a showdown between the 11th-ranked Ole Miss Rebels and the 10th-ranked Penn State Nittany Lions, both entering the game with impressive 10-2 records. As the current season concludes, many devoted Ole Miss fans find themselves already contemplating the potential of next year's team, fueled by the anticipation surrounding recent transfers. However, there remains a critical task at hand for the current squad. Ole Miss closed out the regular season with a notable 10-2 overall record in the Southeastern Conference West standings, securing two consecutive victories. In their recent clash against Mississippi State, the Rebels' defense conceded a mere seven points, paving the way for a triumphant outcome. Jackson Dart is set to take the helm for Ole Miss, and the team's success hinges on their ability to generate substantial offensive output. Penn State enters the Peach Bowl with a commendable 10-2 record, but it is the memory of two significant losses that defines their season. The prevailing sentiment was that this could be the year for Penn State to secure a spot in the college football playoffs, a hope that fell short. Averaging 37 points per game, the Nittany Lions offense is led by Drew Aller, and the game holds particular importance for him as he looks to elevate his performance and expected points added ration for the upcoming season. On a statistical level, these two teams share remarkably similar trajectories. Both boasting 10-2 records, their only defeats came at the hands of top 10 teams, and they each hold a top 10 strength of record in football bowl subdivision. Despite being a New Year's Six Bowl game, neither team is significantly impacted by player opt-outs. However, the Rebels enter the contest with nearly full strength, while Penn State grapples with the absence of defensive coordinator Manny Diaz and key defensive players bound for the NFL Draft. The offensive prowess of Ole Miss has been consistent throughout the season, ranking 27th in 30-plus yard plays and 8th in 20-plus yard plays. Facing a Penn State defense that struggled to thwart drives in the red zone even at full strength, the Rebels appear poised for success. In contrast, Penn State's 113th ranked red zone defense could prove vulnerable against Ole Miss, which ranks 43rd in red zone offense. Despite Penn State's defensive acumen this season, their reliance on it may be tested against the Rebels' formidable offense. This Peach Bowl matchup emerges as a battle for the approximate title of the fifth best team in the country. Both Ole Miss and Penn State find themselves perennially shattered by football powerhouses like Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State, and Michigan within their respective conferences. Hence, this game may serve as a determining factor in identifying the top B-level program in college football. Ole Miss rightfully deserves more recognition for its performance, and skepticism lingers regarding Penn State's ability to compete against top-tier opponents, especially without key contributors like Chop Robinson and Alu Fashanu. The Rebels' well-balanced defense poses a significant challenge for the Nittany Lions, who struggled to assert themselves against elite programs like Michigan, and Ohio State. Despite Penn State's impressive defense throughout the season, the absence of defensive coordinator Manny Diaz raises concerns, particularly against Ole Miss' explosive offense. Quarterback Jackson Dart, known for success against elite defenses, and running back Quinchon Judkins, with impressive rushing stats over the past two seasons, further compound the challenges for Penn State's defense. While Penn State may be considered the more balanced team with a strong defensive record and a 9-3 against the spread season, the allure of of Ole Miss lies in its offensive powerhouse. The Rebels, with their creative offensive approach rarely seen in the Big Ten, 
are set to challenge the Nittany Lions. The absence of key defensive personnel may necessitate adjustments on the part of Penn State, potentially making this game a closely contested battle. The pivotal matchup between quarterbacks Jackson Dart and Drew Aller becomes a focal point. The preference leans towards Dart, supported by the strategic prowess of head coach Lane Kiffin, especially considering Aller's struggles against quality defenses in previous games. The absence of Penn State's top pass rusher, Chop Robinson, further tilts the scale in favor of Ole Miss, preventing the Nittany Lions from establishing a significant lead. The outcome of this game hinges on the trustworthiness of Drew Aller in high-stakes situations. Aller's tendency to falter under the spotlight raises doubts about Penn State's ability to contend. Ole Miss, boasting an elite offensive team, is expected to capitalize on this vulnerability, securing a substantial lead. The Rebels' offense, under the guidance of Lane Kiffin, is poised to dictate the tempo of the game. So the Ole Miss Rebels to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Considering the absence of defensive coordinator Manny Diaz and key defensive players from Penn State, the Nittany Lions may find it challenging to rely on their defense. Although their defensive performance has been exceptional throughout the season, Ole Miss presents a formidable offensive arsenal with numerous playmakers. Ranked 15th in total offense and 12th in passing efficiency, Ole Miss, led by dual-threat quarterback Jackson Dart, poses a significant threat to Penn State's defensive resilience. Additionally, the Rebels' success in producing big plays coupled with Penn State's struggles in red zone defense, suggests that Ole Miss should encounter little difficulty in reaching the end zone. While Penn State's offense may lack explosive plays, their ability to score an average of 37 points per game showcases a consistent offensive performance. With the 26th-ranked rushing attack and a run-by-committee approach, Penn State faces an Ole Miss defense ranked 83rd in rush defense expected points added. Quarterback Drew Aller's impressive 23-to-1 touchdown-to-interception ratio underscores Penn State's proficiency and ball security, ranking second in football bowl subdivision with only six turnovers this season. Head coach Lane Kiffin, known for his daring decisions on fourth down, introduces an unpredictable element to Ole Miss offensive strategy. This could result in either short fields for Penn State or enable the Rebels to advance the ball further down the field. Boasting one of the best defenses in the country, averaging 35 points per game, Ole Miss is poised for a formidable offensive performance. Penn State, while facing uncertainties regarding Aller's capability, concludes the season with a respectable scoring average of 37 points per game. The historical trend of the overhitting in head coach James Franklin's eight bowl games at Penn State adds another layer of intrigue to the total in this game. While the Lions may not explode for 30 points, their offense is expected to find success against the Rebels. Ole Miss vulnerabilities in rush defense, ranking 52nd nationally in expected points added per play allowed, could provide opportunities for Penn State's talented backfield to make a significant impact. Expectations point towards Ole Miss consistently executing both passing and running plays, converting their red zone drives into points. Under the guidance of head coach Lane Kiffin, Ole Miss has a track record of delivering in terms of scoring, instilling confidence in their ability to maintain this trend against Penn State. The total for this game presents an interesting dynamic, considering the stylistic contrast between Penn State's slower-paced approach and Ole Miss' reliance on its high-octane offense. Despite the apparent dichotomy, the prediction leans towards the over, suggesting that, ultimately, the game will surpass the projected total. Anticipating both offenses to showcase their prowess over the projected total is our full game total pick. Auburn vs. Maryland Get ready for an electrifying showdown set to unfold in the trans-perfect Music City Bowl, where the Auburn Tigers are poised to clash with the Maryland Terrapins at Nissan Stadium on December 30th. This highly anticipated game, scheduled to be broadcasted on ESPN and ABC, holds the promise of delivering an enthralling blend of strategic plays and intense rivalry. With Auburn holding a 6-6 record and Maryland at 7-5, both teams are eager to cap off their seasons with a defining victory. The Tigers have navigated a season marked by highs and lows, facing formidable opponents along the way. Notably, their losses have come at the hands of Texas Agricultural and Mechanical, Georgia, LSU, Ole Miss, New Mexico State, and Alabama. Overall, Auburn has averaged 27 points per game over 12 hours 
outings, securing 157.1 yards per game, 17 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions through the air. In their recent encounter against Alabama, the Tigers held a narrow 21-20 lead going into the final quarter but couldn't maintain their advantage, succumbing to a 27-24 loss. Peyton Thorne, Auburn's quarterback, managed just five completions for 91 yards, one touchdown, and one interception in that game. Leading rusher Jarkus Hunter contributed 93 yards on 14 carries. On the Terrapin side, they embarked on a promising 5-0 run at the start of the season but have since secured only two wins out of seven games. Their losses include matchups against Ohio State, Illinois, Northwestern, Penn State, and Michigan. Maryland has averaged 30 points per game, emphasizing the passing game with an average of 284.8 yards through the air, accompanied by 25 touchdowns and 12 interceptions. In their latest outing against Rutgers, the Terrapins capped off the regular season with a resounding 42-24 victory. Talia Tagabailoa, the quarterback, posted 361 passing yards with three touchdowns and a pick, while Roman Hemby added 113 rushing yards. Ty Felden caught five passes for 140 yards and a touchdown. Notably, this bowl game will be played in the absence of Talia Tagabailoa, the Big Ten seconds all-time leading passer, who has opted to prepare for the upcoming NFL draft. This departure is expected to play a significant role in determining the outcome of the matchup, raising the question of whether the Terrapins can overcome the loss of their star quarterback. Stepping into Tagovailoa's shoes will be the redshirt sophomore quarterback, Billy Edwards Jr., who previously played at Wake Forest. Edwards, with limited playing time in 2022 and 2023, boasts a career passing stat line of 32 completions on 56 attempts for 310 yards. His last appearance this year against Penn State saw him throw for minus three yards and one interception. While Auburn's defense may not match the caliber of Penn State's, Edwards will need to elevate his performance to compete on Saturday. Auburn Auburn's qualification for the bowl game came after securing six wins this season, although a closer look at their schedule reveals a lack of victories against quality teams. Facing six teams that made football bowl subdivision bowl games this season, Auburn lost all six matchups. The teams they managed to defeat, California, Mississippi State, and Arkansas, all finished the year with losing records. With the spread moving to seven points following Tagovailoa's absence, Auburn's offense faces a challenge, especially considering their struggles in making big plays. Ways. Quarterback Peyton Thorne has shown improvement throughout the year, but his 2023 campaign, on the whole, saw him exceed 200 passing yards only twice. The Terrapins offense, designed around a strong passing game, may find an advantage if Edwards can integrate into the team and utilize the offensive weapons at his disposal. In assessing both teams, it's evident that they fall into the category of mediocre teams participating in an average bowl game. Choosing Auburn as a seven-point favorite against a team without their starting quarterback, particularly when their passing game lacks consistency, poses a considerable challenge. Auburn's potential dominance on the ground is also questioned, especially against a Maryland run defense that has proven itself to be quite formidable. While Maryland may not necessarily score 40 points, their two skilled running backs and a quarterback with size and athleticism could pose challenges. Utilizing a short passing game with weapons like Jeshon Jones and Cadden Prather, Maryland seems poised to keep this one close, so the Maryland Terrapins to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Auburn's defensive prowess has been evident throughout the season, holding Alabama, Arkansas, Vanderbilt, and Mississippi State to a combined 38 points. Allowing just 22 points per game, Auburn leads the Southeastern Conference in red zone defense, permitting opponents to score only 75% of the time, a ranking that places them 19th nationally. Maryland, faced with one of the stronger defenses they've encountered, may find it challenging to score, although they have faced formidable opponents such as Penn State, Michigan State, and Ohio State. The game's pace is likely to be heavily influenced by Auburn's reliance on their rushing game, which effectively consumes clock and limits possessions. Additionally, the absence of key offensive players, particularly Maryland's starting quarterback Talia Tagovailoa, will undoubtedly impact the Terrapins' scoring ability. Both teams have showcased competent defenses throughout the season, with Auburn allowing an average of 22 points per game and Maryland conceding 23.3. The combination of defensive strength and offensive adjustments due to player opt out suggests a game where points will be harder to come by. Anticipate a lower scoring affair in the Music City Bowl, with the total game score likely falling under the set line. Opting for under the projected total is our full game total pick.
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.